Suns and the Blues ready to do battle, as we mentioned off the top. This is a must-win game for Carlton. If they want to try and keep their slim finals hopes alive. But it will be tough against this Gold Coast Suns outfit. So determined for their first win in 2021. We're underway and Drennan and Watson combine early to get the first clearance of the game. Up towards Levi. He's been showing some great signs in recent times. But Pound and Harrington combine for Carlton. They bring it out towards the wing. Prasparkas and Watson. And that might be a, a run with roll to keep an eye on today. Watson on Prasparkas. Done. It's the hand pass over the top. The kick was hoping for Kasler, but Har Harrington got in the way and found neutral territory. So the first time Carlton has played an AFLW game in Queensland since 2017. Bit of a quirk of the fixture. And the, the first time the Blues have played outside of Victoria or Tas Tasmania since the semi-final of the AFLW last season. McAvoy came through, but Darcy clean. Below her knees. Then Sermon, normally a great decision maker, goes deep inside 50. Virgo gets a good bounce with the outside of the boot, dribbles it towards goal, and that is the perfect start for the Gold Coast Suns. Sam Virgo gets the first of the game. Let's have a look at the replay with thanks to PlayStation and Matthew Lapp, and that's the textbook front and centre goal. Yeah, great goal. Great start from the Suns. They've been really clean ball in hand, and they've had no fumbles, which means that the Carlton pressure can't get at them, and um, they've, they've got that ball inside 50, and it was a terrific goal from Virgo. Great skill. How good was da Daisy Darcy there running through traffic? Really confident, picks it up, picks it up, and gives it to Spartan. You know, what a great decision it was from her. Such a wonderful defender at the lines, and then last year at the Suns as well. But she's pushed forward this season, and she's been able to have an impact, and certainly in the last couple of weeks, Sam Virgo. The co-captain this year with the Suns, along with Hannah Dunn, and the Suns have stunned Carlton with the first goal. McAvoy tries to get the Blues going forward, but Howarth is soccering it off the ground to the advantage of Drennan. Has loins for company, and Howarth kept on running, soccering again. Picks it up, but right on her tail is Brazali who tackles her over the line. Alex talked about Howard's new role in 2020. She's had 18 touches in the last couple of weeks, playing a bit further up the ground. Important today if the Suns want to try and get that first win of 2021. There's Moody and Bella going at it. Prasparkas sweeps it over the top, but Howard is sweeping it behind. Wrapped up by Egan, and Prasparkas comes on and makes her in that hard ball get. Have you seen Maddie Prasparkas this year, Alex, so far? She's just the epitome of consistency. She's consistent every week. She brings the team exactly what they need. We saw when they didn't play with her how integral she is to the team. She's a bit of a barometer. She likes to get her teammates up and about. And she's still such a youngster, but leads by example in terms of her performance and what she does. And, you know, she'll really stand up today. It'll be a hotly contested game. I'm, I'm sure they'll get stuck into her. They got pretty stuck into her last week, yeah. Frio. So hopefully she has a, has a cracker today. You can see already getting stuck into her. She was made to earn... That hard ball is Stevens, likes the left foot and gives the Blues an early inside 50. Harris going back, strong mark on the chest. Open Blues forward line, Vessio tracking back. It's heading in that direction, but the kick was nowhere to her advantage and out of bounds on the full. Unfortunately, not a great kick there from Harris, but the contested mark was awesome. She read the drop of the ball early, good strong body work, and she's got her first win in a one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a good start for her in the aerial contest. 29 goals, 29 in her AFLW career so far, Taylor Harris. As the Suns move the ball along the wing, this is Darcy. That foot kick, and a couple of Suns players around, but in the end, Watson comes through rather single. Who goes up towards half forward. Perry had to sit and got rid of Lalawifi and has a good look at the goals. It might dribble through, or in the end, it's a foot race. Levi's going back. The Sun second. And a goal to the goal. What a start for Gold Coast. And Maddie Levi has been a real shining light the past three weeks for Gold Coast. Yeah, she definitely has been. Just look at this intent, the want to have the ball, the want to move it quick, and the you know the intent to want to outwork and outwant your your teammate here and your opponent. And just fantastic run there and, and what a goal to, to, to have the goal, goal, goal second. 
They just look so clean, and they're getting the ball out in space, so they're obviously trying to run the Carlton team. Um, great start for the Suns. So Maddie Levi in round six against the Eagles. She threatened. She had three behinds. Then last week, she really broke out against the Tigers with a couple of goals. And now she's got her third for the season. And importantly, Gold Coast have a 12-point advantage early stages. Not only do the Blues need to win today, they need to try and boost that percentage as well to give them their best chance of a late finals run. But the Suns have stunned them early. Ahrens, done, single. Really impressive player for the Suns. Spearing kick was hoping for Kasla. Laloifi there. Sermon applies the tackle. Just got a hand pass away, but the Suns will go inside 50. Baird got a good bounce. Runs to 45. Shoots towards goal. House caught behind in front. Harrington takes the intercept mark. Levi in front made her earn it. Now Harrington will play on in the last line of defence. As we've seen the start, Suns start really well, I think, you know, we all know they can't make finals, but they're playing for a bit more pride this week. And I think that's, you know, what's really respectable for them to come out and, and really step up in the first few minutes. We know Carlton sometimes notoriously starts slow. So it's great to see the Suns really take it up to them to begin with. I'm surprised they're starting this slow at the moment. Very early stages. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty surprised, Ben. I thought they'd have a bit more get up and go considering they're flattening, you know, four point loss last week against Frio in the dying in the dying minutes. So I think they'll bring it up. Like I give them to second quarter to kind of make that judgment call. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the likes of Press Parkers, Egan, Georgia G and all the youngsters really step up and show them, you know, what they're made of today. It's starting at stoppage, Ben. Yep. Um, Suns are getting the ascendancy at stoppage, which is giving them territory. And the, the Blues are having trouble getting out of their defensive half. Levi v Moody. Single again at the back, trying that hard ball. Flicks out to Riley. And Baird couldn't quite grab it on the third attempt. Darcy comes through. Picked up, though, for the Blues by Plain. Kick smothered, though. Drennan makes Egan earn that hard ball. Single again. Puts her head over the top of the ball. Charlotte Hammonds turned it over to Prigelli. Lalawifi at the back. Ball travel past her. And the kick from Kasla towards the forward pocket. Baird again with Lalawifi. The two players go at it now. Sermon as well. Suns will take a stoppage inside their forward 50. Thirteen point advantage for Gold Coast. Early stage of this first quarter. Egan. Straight to Sermon. Top of the goal square. Perry got a bad bounce. Drennan got a good one. And then the step was superb. And she just gets boot to ball in time. And the Suns has stunned the Blues early. And a goal for the Gold Coast Suns, number 33. Allison Drennan with Gold Coast third goal. She's delighted as well, and rightly so, and a nice step to open up a good shot for goal. Clearance goals hurt. They hurt so much. You don't get too many goals from forward 50 clearances, but the Suns have got another one there. And they're, they're, as I said earlier, they're just dominating territory because uh, they're winning the clearances. So. Carlton midfielders, Carlton Ruck need to start to fire up here and um, square the legend. Very, very happy with her first Gold Coast goal. Dallas and Drennan, she's pumped with Sarah Perkins on the boundary there. Probably showing off her turn of step as well. She's been a wonderful pickup for the Suns this season after a couple of years at St Kilda and Melbourne, at uh, North Melbourne rather, and now She's put the Suns in front by 19 points. A second inside 50 entry here for Carlton. Desperately need the next goal. Kick comes out from Keeney. Mark dropped by Plain. Then she goes inside 50. The ball pitched just inside the boundary line. So now the Blues have a look from their own forward 50 stoppage. Be interested to see if Coach Daniel Harford does anything here around the stoppages, whether he throws an extra player at the stoppage to try and shift the balance here because the Suns have been quite dominant at the stoppages and it's reflected in the contested possessions. Harris doing the ruck. Tapped it towards True and a half forward, but Howarth came through. Swept the hand pass towards Single, who's made an impressive start to this game. Very clean, but immediately wrapped up by a couple of blues and pinged for illegal disposal. The Suns are just winning every stat at the moment. 22 to 
kicks to 10, 12 handballs to 7, 34 disposals to 17, better disposal efficiency 56% and three shots from four inside 50s with, you know, Carlton not really being able to do anything there. Gee, two on one there. Harris had position and Bella had the sit and took the intercept mark. So just to follow up with Alex's point there, they're dominating all the stats and they're winning tackle as well. So not only are they winning the ball, but they're taking the ball off the opposition with good tackle numbers. Halfway through this first quarter. Kick towards a one-on-one. -on -one. Egan again caught behind. Able to follow up with a good tackle on Perry. And wasn't rewarded for holding the ball. And that is, goes uncalled as well. Nicola Stevens. It's over the line and out of bounds. Oko searching for their first win of the season. Their third overall. Bella tapped it to Watson's advantage. She was easily able to escape the tackle of O'Day. And Kasla marks on the chest. And again, an open Suns forward line. Kasla hoping for 50. I was aware of it. She goes to Howarth instead. Single presents. Beautifully weighted kick. She had to really wait for it as well. Had a Blues opponent coming the other way. Sends it deep inside, 50. Levi at the back, had the sit. And illegally pushed Downey out the way. Gave away the free kick. Harrington. Calls for some run from Hammonds, but the handball was too hot. Gives the Suns a sniff, and you don't want to give Kate Sermon any chance around goal either. On the third attempt, can't quite pick it up cleanly. Brazali got the hand pass out. Again, the Suns locking it inside their forward half. Loins tries to clear. Up towards Bookwalker, back in the side this week. Nice spin. And the handball was beautiful to G. Just fumbled, but she has time to assess her options. O'Day, back towards G. She'll fancy herself as she gets a good bounce. Further afield to Harris, then back to G. This will be a great solo effort, but she does the team thing and finds Darcy Vessio. What a really smart decision there from Taylor Harris to just do the little tap on to Georgia G instead of try to take it and do a lot of herself. Her and Georgia G are a really united force up forward and they work really well together in their synergy. So it's great to see that starting to show today. Back to her best form over the last four games, Darcy Vessio. She has nine goals so far in 2021. And she makes it 10, but importantly, she gives Carlton their first major of the game. So can we wrap with that goal, be able to take the ball from the half back line, linking up with hands. Um, they got, we got to see their quick players out in space. And as you said, the footy smarts from Taylor Harris, not to take control of that ball, just to tap it into G's pass. And then the selflessness to square that up to Vessio. Good team footy. Coach Harford would be really happy with that piece of play. G gets it on the wing and then really, you know, keeps working really, really hard to get the hands and then, you know, has the ability to hit up Darcy at the top of the square there. Fantastic foot skills. So with that goal, Darcy Vessio goes to 38 goals. She's one goal behind Erin Phillips in the all-time AFLW top goal kickers ladder. And the race to the first to become 50 goals. Loins gets the kick away. Prasparkas tracking it towards the wing. Clean at ground level. Able to easily get around Darcy. Looking for Stevens at half forward. Good contest there from Emma Pittman. Great to see her in the side for the Suns today. Levi paddles it towards Howarth. Picked up by Hammonds and then Stevens immediately set up on McAvoy though. Thumps it towards half forward. Harris with Ahrens. That's going to be a great matchup throughout the day. Now Pittman's under pressure. O'Day handballs into the path of Stevens. She handballs into the path of Prasparkas. Has a good look at the goals. And she just misses. Golden opportunity goes begging for the star. Rolled the dice a little bit there, the Carlton mids. They got ahead of the ball. Uh, the Suns outnumbered them at the ball there, but a, uh, they got a good tackle turnover. And Prasparkas was lucky to get on the end of it forward of the ball there. She should have made them pay, but she, she couldn't kick the goal. The Blues just able to get back the momentum of this game in the past couple of minutes. Drawing it back to a two-kick game. Free kick going the way of Carlton. Moody 
Some illegal contact on her. So she will send it back inside the arc. At the back, Vessio had the sit. Couldn't quite take the mark. Hammond was on her hammer. And now the Suns work it out to Sermon. Very clean below her knees to Drennan. Sweeps it to Baird. She's got a bit of space here at Metricon Stadium. And her second AFLW game turns it over to Moody. What a shining light Moody's been for Carlton this year. She's taken her average disposal count from 14 in 2019 to 12 in 2020. Last week she had 19 disposals. So sensational work from Moody. Vessio at the back. Almost ran on the way. Pasparkas had a chance for a second shot, but couldn't get boot to ball. Still not out of danger the Suns. Harris wrapped up by Baird. Still able to get it free to Brazali. Pound though gave it straight to Bella. Virgo's got two Carlton players to beat. Has to be good. Bella arrives to lend support. Darcy's behind. Well played by Bella. Got it to Darcy. To Perry. Just below her knees. Fumbled at the wrong time. But the Suns with their tails up. Up towards half forward. Sermon. Couldn't take it cleanly. And a nice thump away there from Daisy Walker. And the umpire's just conferring about whether this is going to be a last touch free kick. Looks like the Suns will be rewarded with it as well. Kate Sermon wants to come off. And she has come off, so in the end it'll be Hannah Dunn to take the free kick. Going to be hard to find a mark here. The Carlton team have got a couple of extra players back behind the ball. Okay, so the Sermon is going to take the kick. It'll be interesting to see if she does come straight off after this and is replaced by Dunn. She goes inside. There's plenty of blues at the back, though. Baird at the fall of the ball. O'Day tracks it back, but Howarth was clean to Darcy, to Riley. Howarth thumps it on the boot inside. 50. Good thump, timely thump away there by Pound because that was going into Kasler's lap. Lalawifi received from Harrington. Riley, though, is there to pick up the crumbs. And she turned it over. Well played by Pound. Read it. At the right time, thumps it towards the middle of the ground. Hammond and Progelli are there. Brooke Walker, great tackler, normally great speed, but that tackle a little too high, and the Suns will get the reprieve. Suns really well organised behind the ball there. They had good defensive shape. Carlton were left 1v3 against. Just over a minute remaining. The Suns move it out towards... The open side here, Ahrens didn't get a good bounce. She's got support over the top. And Darcy was the target. She has to be clean here. She's heavily met by Harris. Straight back to her feet. Blues through Daisy Walker. Held without it, so she will receive a free kick. How good was that contact from those two girls? Mm. Eyes for the ball. Great play. Just over 30 seconds left, and that kick from Daisy Walker will pitch inside. But a lasso free kick giving the Suns an opportunity for a last-minute foray. First three goals of the game to the Suns. The Blues have wrestled back some momentum. Howard's kick is turned over. Straight down the throat of Plain. Stevens with the sit from behind. Brought it to ground. Ample numbers, though, with Gold Coast. Single. Getting better with every game she plays. Turns it over on that occasion. Mark taken by Pound. And everything needs to go right. A barrel and a really nice connected barrel as well to give the Blues some hope late. Drennan able to pick it up. Taken though by Brooke Walker. Sends it inside 50. Right on the stroke of half time. No free kick is paid. Vessio went up for the mark, but that's a really promising first turn by the Suns. And David Lake would have a big smile on his face at the first change. It's Gold Coast 3 1 19. Carlton 117 in the second quarter coming up right after this.